Well, right now we are keeping an eye on some showers moving into the area tonight. It's a good night to be down there watching hoops or sitting on your couch mm -hmm. watching hoops because mm -hmm. clouds are covering the beach out there in Cape May. So yeah. Let's head it our way, young man. So tonight I think we're all right. A rumble of thunder potentially overnight is what we're going to keep our mm -hmm. eyes on. Uh, but we got most of our rain today mm -hmm. uh, yeah. when it came in a little bit earlier on. Let me show you some of our live cameras and look how low those clouds are in that upper left hand shot in Philadelphia. Some of those buildings there are just barely at a thousand feet, maybe a little bit more. And it's going to be a cloudy night around the region. Look at Wall and Paw Pack here up in the Poconos. Maybe some sun trying to sneak out there. But right now, as we look at Margate to the north, it's just an overcast sky. And these clouds are going to be with us for at least another 24 hours and probably deeper into tomorrow evening before they start clearing out a little bit uh, by Friday in the weekend. We got 60 in Philly right now, so our high temperature occurred earlier today in the mid 60s. We had 80, 70, 60s in a row, and tomorrow we're likely going to be in the 50s. That's where we are right now for Atlantic City and Allentown. So here's the overall future cast, or at least the clouds and radar, I should say. Our big storm that we're watching is not in our area right now. It's this one out here over Ohio. There have been a ton of severe weather reports today. Winds, uh, 60, 65 miles per hour, hail, one inch in diameter or greater. And this also had a tornado warning on it earlier out of Columbus. So I watch that and I say, okay, well, this is heading to the east, traveling about 40, 45 miles per hour. It puts it in our area at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. But then we analyze the future cast data. We analyze the forecast models and say, okay, is this a threat to you and your family in our area? And it just doesn't look like it. It's strong right now, and future cast showing you as it makes its way out of Ohio and into Pennsylvania. And that will go strong through the next, say, four to five hours. So Pittsburgh, Puxatawney, State College, these are all areas that could be dealing with those stronger storms. I'm going to pause this around that 2 to 3 o'clock in the morning time frame and, in fact, get you a closer look here. And by the time it reaches our area, the energy looks to just not be there. Some passing showers, potentially a rumble of thunder, but we are not expecting any severe weather through the overnight hours, which, of course, is great. We don't like it, especially through the overnight hours. Uh, but what we're going to keep in our region is the cloud cover all day long, consider it a cloudy day, maybe a stray light shower. It's certainly not a rainy day, but it will be cool and it will just be gray. And so it's going to be one of those days you go, oh, okay, not, not the nicest to be outside, certainly compared to where it was yesterday. Uh, temperatures struggle to get out of the 50s, so a mid to early March-like day. Uh, and then we'll get back to near normal as we roll on into our Friday. And Friday right now, trending dry, we'll say, uh, you know, for the day part, but a few evening showers, 67 degrees on your Friday. Saturday looking nice, 69 degrees, but there is a front that's going to cool us off a bit for Sunday. But in terms of big weather makers looking ahead to the weekend, I don't see them, and we're going to start next week. Beautiful. Look at that, 68 and sunshine on Monday. Normal high temperature this time of year, now 66. We'll be right back.